would really like to. But one friend I'd, I do know that I have is Richard Michalis. <laughs> or at least he says he's my friend. Richard, what's up? Good morning, Denny, Allison, Kevin, and Grandpa. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. We're really excited. That's uh, grandchild number four. Congratulations. Thank Pat. you very much. There's nothing better because you go, you play with the kids, and you leave. Right, exactly. Same with pets. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Richard, you get, I'm looking at a brand new truck that is just to die for. Exciting times. I, I mean, it's it's funny what excites me. But yeah, we've got we brought a, a few more uh, new vehicles into the fleet. And, Did you get a new uh, one? I, I, I'm trying the Ford Trans at this time instead of the Chevy Vans. They're a little taller and a little longer. Yeah. So we'll see how it out. That that one thing, my techs loved me more when I let them go into the back of their van and stand up. That was the one thing that they loved, and they were they weren't six footers. I mean, but by golly, that it, it's just a beautiful van for all the Michelis equipment. So, what will go in here? Will this be remediation for floods and and fires and yeah. stuff? Yeah, those two trucks they'll, they'll be for the water team and the water mitigation team. And then we've got a couple uh, pickup trucks. We've hired um, two project managers and an estimator in the last two wow. weeks. Wow, so busy boys. When you hire, you've got to buy more vehicles because yeah, that's just the name of the game. So uh, exciting times. Um, we're busy. All services are busy. Um, God, Richard, I'm, I'm looking at a fire. You know, I didn't see this text. This, you sent this to me in April. Where the hell was this <laughs> fire at? I don't know. I wow. took a picture Fire? Yeah, on uh, Saturday, April twenty fifth. Oh, that's Brad's car wash. There was an explosion. Is that it? No, this looks like this is a masonry building. Man, that thing was that thing was fully involved. Well, read the text. He says, "I'm not there yet, so I don't have a whole lot of information other than the major explosion likely produced by natural oh, gas." Oh, that is where that was. That's what wow. I mean. Oh, sorry about that. You know what? It's a free train of thought here. So you guys staying busy? We, we are busy, and um, we're busy with things like water and basement waterproofing and a lot of roofing, storm damage, um, just from, you know, the various storms, I guess, that's rode through town. So, um, you know, we're yeah, we're staying busy. I, I, I can't say there's any spikes out there. It's just business as usual. Right. Um, so, yeah, we're yeah. blessed. And, and that brings up another thing. You guys still do construction projects, too. I mean, my neighbor still brags about you know, you're putting that upper level in their garage. So there's other jobs besides the remediation stuff. Absolutely. I'm looking at a room addition uh, next, I think it's Tuesday. And then I've got a couple bathroom remodels. So yeah, it's still insurance restoration and maybe the emergency work is probably 60% of our business, but certainly not all of it. Sure. So uh, we're busy with all, I guess, remodeling and general contracting services. Are you finding uh, shortages of materials to be a problem? Well, not so much. Well, I guess shortage is the right word to use, Pat. It seems like it's just far out. So, uh, you know, it's either hasn't been manufactured yet, or if it has been manufactured, it's hard to get it to us uh, through logistics or, you know, the trucking system. And then we're seeing prices go up incredibly, right. yeah. anywhere from 10 to 25 percent yep. on material. Richard, so, I heard this week that uh, be glad you live in Indianapolis where trucks will still deliver. If you have your business in downtown New York, San Francisco, Kenosha, any place, the trucking companies, the truck drivers will not go in there. And so now they're setting out these outside depots for people who live in the city who are running businesses to pick them up because nobody's going to deliver. So uh, is it, that because trans- of the protests? Yeah, because or- of the riots. I'm not going to call them protests anymore. But but anyway, they that's they shut down commerce in these cities, and the truck drivers won't go in. So Good grief. I'm happy that you live in Indianapolis, son. There you go, Richard. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. You at the lake today? I am, yes. Good yeah. for you. I'll be, my, I'll be up later. later. Pardon me? I'll be up later. Okay. Right. Just let it. I'll let you, uh, yeah, let me know when you're close by. I'll get the, right. uh, hey, the grill. Hey, I want to leave from here. Do you have an extra suit for me? I do. <laughs> I absolutely right. do. <laughs> right. oh, See you later, boy. Richard. <laughs> it's the Michelis Corporation, 844-FIX-INDY. Everyone's going, ooh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> the Michelis Corporation, construct, renovate, restore.